Okay guys, so what I've decided, because this wood is so white and it's hard to see on the camera, I've painted where the beard is going to be black. Okay, so Damon, uh, this is what I'm talking, and the guys that are having that I'm talking about, um, flat spots on your beard. By the time I'm covering this beard, cutting this beard in, I'm going to use my uh, Roto Zip. These are Roto Zips, guys. I've gone over it a thousand times. But maybe you're new to the channel. So, this is what I cut my beard in with. Okay? Let me see if I can find the box. Here it is. You can buy these at your hardware store. Okay? Wall tile cutters. One eighth shaft. Three millimeter shaft. Roto Zip, guys. This is what I'm going to cut my beard hairs in with. By the time I'm done cutting my beard, ha beard hairs in with, I don't want to see too much black. You can see little, you should be able to see little thread like black lines. That's what I mean, cutting out all my flat spots. The closer you cut your hairs in beside each other and cross them over, the realer the piece is going to look. Okay? Roto Zip. One eighth shaft. Boom. Wall tile cutters. This is it. I don't know the link. Just go to your hardware store. Type it online. Okay, so let's do these beard hairs. Okay, this is going to be a most fast forward video with Damon and Liz. Oh, good old Liz and Damon. Watch how I do long, slow S lines down here, okay? I'll, I'll make the first part not fast forward, but long, slow S lines. Okay, watch the white getting cut out from the black and how I do long, slow crossovers. And you guys, in this uh, video, I also use the cut saw carving burrs. This one's pretty old, but this is what I use. It goes in the Dremel, cuts all carving burrs. That's how I carve this whole thing. And uh, you'll see the link below where to buy the burrs. Damon, you talk about this bit jumping lots, but have a good grip of it and just keep going with it. Slow and steady wins the race. shallow not like this not like this I'm putting it at a real shallow angle and pulling I'm starting it and then I start pulling it Okay, I'm gonna go like this, and I'm not gonna cr just cross like this. I'm gonna go slowly, and I'm gonna cross it over slowly, like right here. Slowly, and cross it over slowly.
watch, it's running. I put it in at a real big angle and I just start pulling it, put it down and cut. Okay, running, pull, put it, put it in when it's running and pull it, watch. Now I'll cross my lines. When you start running this, and then you slowly, when it's running, and drop it in, you won't have no, you won't have no start mark cuts. It will just be fluent. Like, watch right here. You guys see all those black lot, those black marks up here? This is that's what I call a flat spot where I haven't carved. It's sitting flat. So I'm gonna carve that and just put another line in there. Look at all my lines are crossed over, right? All flat marks. So I'm gonna fast forward the rest of this video and uh, then we'll do some sanding and some staining or poly shading.
Okay, so there you go. There's all my hairs carved in. See some flat points, but that's okay. There's a few there. That's okay. A few's not bad. Right? Because once I burn it, I'm going to burn this thing a little bit. Just a little touch to get rid of the fuzzies, okay? But there you go. There you see how I do it. Now, if you have start marks, start marks in here, let me show you an example. Um, like that. Right there. That's a start mark right there. Just cut that out quickly. Watch. Done. Well. The longer you guys take carving your beard hairs in, the more lines you do, the better it's going to look. Damien and Les, carve your beard hairs in thin. Okay, now I'm going to lightly burn it. Hey okay, guys, this is going to be a quick little thing about how I make my sanding pads. Okay, this is the type of sandpaper that I use. It's cloth back. Okay, this I got told is really, really good sandpaper. So look it up. This is, uh, what is this, 80 grit? Yep. One times 80 grit. And uh, it's a, it comes in a roll. I order this on uh, Amazon or uh, eBay. So you can see it's cloth grit. Make sure you use the cloth grit, guys. It's stronger. Okay. So I already got these pre-cut. See, I'll just cut one so you guys see. Cut it with your scissors the little squares. Okay. Then you use a hole punch to put a hole through there or drill or whatever. Okay. This is a 1 8 Nut and bolt, okay? It goes on your Dremel. It fits in your Dremel flex shaft for uh, the 1 8th, okay? So I put two nuts on the end. I put the bits on. I put these on. I'll show you. Slide them on. Make them all like that, kind of like off, off staggered. When you get to the back ones, here, just let me do this quickly so you guys see. I mix some up, you know, sometimes I put some this way. So when you're sanding, it gets all sides, right? Put a couple this way. Make them like a star there, right? Okay, three is good enough. Backwards. And put the rest on forward. Okay, see how that is? You could put a washer on the front if you wanted to too. But uh, let's see, here, a couple more. Slide them on. Okay, and then we'll do two for the back after this one. Okay, so we'll put two on backwards. One, ah, screw it, let's just use them all. Two, three, okay? That's that. So now we'll put our washer on, put the, the nuts on. You guys can use this for the Fordham too, but use quarter inch nut and bolt. You put the second bolt on, that was somebody on my uh, comments said I'd use a second bolt to lock it up so this one doesn't come undone, right? So we'll do this. Get in there, Jesus. Okay. So you can see how that works anyways. So tighten this one up. Uh, where's my pliers? Anyways, you just tighten this one up with your wrench or your pliers or whatever. Real tight. And then you tighten your second one up. And that's your sander. That fits in your drill to sand your piece. Okay? Same as this. I wish they made this stuff in black because if you, if you go too fast and push too hard, it makes your carving go green. But this is scotch bright. Look, guys, I remembered. Scotch bright. So if anybody knows there's any black scotch bright, let me know. So same thing, cut it in little squares, one eighth nut and bolt. Okay. This will be the sanders that I'll be using after I'm done carving my hairs. Or actually, sorry, I'm gonna sand it before I burn it. Okay. Like I just showed my videos, I use this flap, this flapper wheel. I gotta tighten it up. And then actually. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use this first, then I'm going to use this. 
Okay guys, I'm using these first before I burn it, just to kind of smooth off the edges so the burn takes through the wood better, right? So I'm going to do this first. I'm going to lightly burn it to get rid of the fuzzies and I'm going to do it again. This left the kind of green, no big deal though, because I'm going to be staying in it. Okay, let's use this now. Real slow, slow speed, people. see how well that stuff worked look how smooth this pretty well is now okay so I'm gonna burn this inside I usually don't do it today but everything's safe a little propane torch and just barely hit it really lightly because that way you'll get rid of all the fuzzies don't do too much because the more you burn especially on this crap wood you can burn up here good The more you burn, the more you're going to burn your details away. So I'm just doing this to burn away all the stupid little fuzzies on this piece of pollock or whatever, what it's called. Hate it! I'm going to burn up in here really good to make it nice and dark. makes it look like his face is coming out of the wood and you can always use paint too guys 
I just use dollar store acrylic paint. Just kind of touch up around here, around his nose a bit. Okay, so I think that's probably good for all the fuzzies being gone. This is the part that brings it to life, guys. Well, not yet, but once it starts sanding away the burns, burn marks. Just nice and lightly. Okay, good enough. I better stop now. Yeah, burning right by my lighter. Real smart, George. Okay, so now I'm going to run the sander again. Turn on my dust collector. Now I can move my piece around. That's what I'm saying. That's why I don't like it to be in a, a vise. I know you get vices that move around, but it doesn't work for me. I don't like it. So after you burn it, I burnt it and sanded it. Now I can see where I need to readjust things I need to fix up. I need to fix up this, make the hairs go closer to the nose. Look at that. There's a, That's what you call a start. You know, I want to take it up higher, nice and make it smooth, not just a start right there. Okay? I'm going to paint in his nose, I'm going to paint in his eyeballs black, and I'm going to paint in his mouth black. So, but see, there you go. There's another start right there, that piece right there. Take it right to the nose, clean up this whole area. Okay, guys, everything's sounded good to go for some staining. This is where I take a uh, some Craft Smart black paint and get the stuff at the dollar store, maybe not this brand, and a dollar store paintbrush. I put it in the eyeballs, the nostrils, and the mouth. And you can even paint up here if you want a bit. Okay. I don't have time to, to, to clean things up and put it away, so I just put the paint on a piece of paper. I just get the stuff done, guys, okay? So it's black in his mouth now. Okay. Oops. Oh, shit. I'll have to sound that again. My impatience, my stupidity, and black in here. Okay, let's just do his nostrils a different way because that paintbrush is screwed up. Okay, so wipe all this off. It kind of looks neat like that. Okay, so that's good. Nostrils done, eyes done. Ah, oh, damn it, I already took my side. Let's just, ah, uh, shoot. Put my sanding pad back on. So you guys have your burrs, like, right beside you, so you got things, you got, like, uh, everything on standby, right? Just like this. See? There's my burrs. Everything's on standby. Standby! Okay, let's clean this up.
Oops, see how much I sanded that out? Let's just do this. Oh, I really screwed this paintbrush up fast. Kind of just put some black paint in there. Good enough. Don't forget it's gonna it's gotta be uh sand uh stained anyways. You know what I mean? When I do this kind of stuff, I don't like to see any stops and starts like that. It's just like a simple stop and start, kind of smudge it in. Let's try this uh gray cloth. Whatever the cloth is called, Scotch Bright. Now I'm starting to rush, guys. Okay. All my sanding and stuff is done. See the green on there? So anybody can find out where they get these black dishwashing pads, scotch brake pads, let me know. I'm going to use this uh, Minwax. What's this, Espresso color? Yeah, it's Espresso. Minwax Poly Shades. This is a protector to put on it. So I'm going to put this all on it, let it dry a bit, then sand the high points, okay? And I'm going to be doing it with this dollar store foam thing. I get like five of them for a buck. What the hell? Ugh. Okay, so I can't find, I don't have any gloves here, those like st stupid nurse glove things, whatever, those latex gloves, I don't have any, so you're going to be calling me dirty hands after this. So let's just put this stuff on. So, when I apply this stuff, this stuff's kind of somewhat glossy. When I apply this stuff, I let it dry. I might even, this stuff dries pretty quick. And then I'll lightly uh, sand the high points, okay? To give it like a, a kind of a better effect. You'll see. But I gotta really lightly sand these high points on this one because this wood is so freaking white. If you make it, if you sound it too much, it will kind of look stupid. Well, this not, it won't look right. I don't, I don't make sense half the time, guys. So whatever, it is what it is. This, uh, hope this this series is gonna help somebody like uh, Liz and Damon, and all my other new friends from my uh, YouTube, because uh, I don't know, it's a lot of work to make these videos. Like I'd normally carve this wood. I don't even know if this is maple wood. Look at this bark. Somebody tell me what kind of wood this is. Because it feels pretty hard to be poplar. Look, there's the grain. Somebody, please tell me. Yeah, I just dropped shit all over my floor. Stuff dripped out of the mouth and the eyes all over the floor. Getting hot in here. Summertime, summertime. See, I don't waste any time, and I'm not. I'm not frugal with the stuff I use. I just slap her on and get her done. Okay, so it's done. Let me move this out of the way. Oh yeah, this guy looks right retarded. That's a bad word, not, well, not retarded, but stupid. That's a bad word too. I hate the word stupid. Nobody's stupid in my mind. Okay, so let's let go like this. Okay guys, so I'm gonna let this dry. 
and uh, clean it up and then we'll show you how I sound the high points. It's almost done. Google eyes! Google eyes! Okay, so you can see how this uh, weird googly guy, guys, it's all stained. Okay. Look, his nose is going one way and his eyes are going the other way. <laughs> That's the thing about carving, guys. Just enjoy it and who cares, right? You know, progress on each one. So this is 400 grit sandpaper. I'm going to slightly hit the high points because you got to remember with this wood, it's really white underneath. Right? So let's see how this works. Uh, okay, I don't think 400 grit. I don't think 400 grit's uh, enough grit. So let's just mix that up to some 180 grit, eh? Oh, there we go. There we got some sanding happening now. This stuff's not 100% dry, this uh, stuff that I used, but whatever. See, it will clog up your sander. That's all smooth there now. See how I'm sounding the high points? Just kind of touch the nose a bit. And try and get the nostrils too. That that lip on that eye is too big. Looks weird, but whatever. I'm not I'm not changing anything. It is what it is. I'll still be able to sell this piece for 50, 60 bucks. Even though I don't like it. Probably most of you don't like it. It will still sell. And that's what I'm trying to say to you guys. Just because you don't like your piece, you think it looks like a piece of crap, <sighs> believe me, somebody else will like it. Okay, let's get in there and get that, try and get that lip so you can see the lip in there, right? <sighs> okay, so you see how this point sticks out so high and it's so bright? If I brighten up this cheek here, this won't look so out of place. It's a piece of sandpaper. So you do that on one side, do it on the other side too, right? Just go around, hit it with sandpaper where you think it needs to be hit. It's simple. Okay, so look at that eyeball is done. This one needs to be done a bit too. Let me get my piece of sandpaper. I'm using my hook and loop sandpaper. I shouldn't be using this stuff, but whatever. I got no freaking time to waste. Let's get some lift in there. Let's get this shit done. Okay, so let's get this eye too. I gotta get a better uh, stand for my mount so when I'm sanding this, the phone doesn't sh it doesn't shake, the camera doesn't move. Okay, let's try and get that lip in there a bit better, so it pops out a bit more. There she be, Mr. Googly Eyes. Google, Google, Google eyes. Come on. And there you guys go. It's all done. Sign your pieces on the back, people. I signed it. But this just goes to show you <laughs> that they all don't turn out as good as you want them to turn out. <laughs> Look at his eyes. Ah, I feel like carving them right out. Doesn't matter. I'll leave it. Somebody will buy it. Hope everybody's doing good. And uh, keep sending your wood spirit uh, pictures to me. Canadian one dude at gmail.com for my next uh, new wood spirit carver video. Take it easy, guys. Talk to you soon. Oh, 
Mr. Googly Eyes. Mr. Googly Eyes, Ben knows. What do you think? Well, Johnny, I think I look like our Mr. Rankin fucked up. I fucked. Jesus. I can't even talk. Okay, guys. So tip of the day from Carving Fusion. Carving Eye Fusion. If you make a carving and you don't like it when it's done, fix it! <laughs> I cut out his eyes. Couldn't stand Mr. Googly Eyes, but that's okay. I'm going to still call him Mr. Googly Eyes. So what do you think about that, Mr. Googly Eyes? Googly Eyes? What do you mean, Googly Eyes? Oh, no, you were Mr. Googly Eyes till I cut them out! Remember everyone, like uh, when you're working on a piece like this and you're not happy with it, with the way I had the eyes. We're doing this for fun. We're doing this to get away from the, all the other crap that's happening in life out there. You know what I mean? We all have our stress, our stressful stuff going on. This art, any type of art, should save us from that. That's why we're doing it. So enjoy it. And don't give a shit what people think. Do it for you, right? There's no I in team. And I am just carving fusion.